Hello guys, I will show in detail how to build your own high quality two channel audio recording device. You will learn how to work with iSquare's DMA and SD card using STM32 microcontroller. Most importantly, you will learn how to integrate all of these to sample audio in real time without losing any data. You will need a STM32 board that supports iSquare's and SDO peripheral. I will personally use STM32 F4 Discovery. You also need a microphone that provides data in iSquare's format and SD card slot. You will find all the information about the hardware I'm using on the description below. In this video, I will introduce to you iSquare's and we will sample data using DMEA. Before starting to code, I want to introduce to you iSquare's communication protocol, which is specially designed for audio data. Uh, and as you see, I'm using this microphone and it provides data in iSquare's format. So I don't need to use um, any ADC. I can just directly connect this microphone to the microcontroller. And on page seven, we have this diagram that uh, clearly, clearly shows how iSquare's protocol operates. Basically, we have clock line same as other communication protocol. In addition, we have master and slave. So master generates clock and work select lines. And in return, the slave will um, generate data. We need, we need this work select, or sometimes we call it left right clock, to define the onset of the data. So when we have transition from high to low or from low to high, um, we, we signal the slave to start sending data. So after this transition, the slave will start sending data from most significant bit. We also need work select line to determine the channel. So when work select line is low, we have left channel, then we have right channel. And as you see, we have 32 bits per frame. We might have 24, 16 bits. It, it depends on, on the hardware, basically. And only 18 bits of this uh, 32 bits are data. The rest are just the garbage. We can ignore them. But when configuring i squares, we have to specify that we have 32 uh, bit frames. And using i squares, uh, we can uh, sample two microphones, basically. Uh, when um, select line of the microphone, when the select line of the microphone is connected to the ground, this microphone will provide data when work select line is low. If we connect uh, the, the select line of the microphone to, to power supply, the microphone will provide data when work select line is high. So basically we can sample data from two microphones. So basically we connect both microphones to the same wires, work select, clock, um, data. We will set, we will just set one of the select lines to power supply and the second one to, to the ground. And if I open the reference manual, we also have i squares protocol, but it is usually within the SPI protocol, within the SPI interface. So next, I'm going to show how to configure iSquares using the QBMix software. And also you can find all these documents uh, within the description. So I use STM32 CubeID and QBMix software to program STM32 microcontroller boards. And here, here I'm going to create a new project for STM32 F4 discovery board. And just a quick announcement, if you just started programming the microcontrollers and looking for clear step-by-step -step instructions, I invite you to begin a course in SM32 programming, where we cover various topics in detail so you can reach a new level. We will program using SM32 Cubimix and using only CMC's library. After creating the project, we're gonna configure iSquares using the Cubimix software. So we open the IOC file and within the multimedia, we choose i squares 2 and we choose half duplex master mode. 
So we open parameter settings and since we want to receive, we need to choose this option. And we have 32 bits uh, frame and, and the microphone provides 18 bits of data, but we're going to use only 16 bits of it. So we're going to choose this option. And as our audio frequency, we will sample at 32 kilohertz. Then we open DMA settings. We're going to add. Um, so we, we received uh, through DMA, so we choose this option. And mode circle, so we will constantly receive data through I squares. So we, we choose this mode circular and the data width is half word, in other words, two bytes of data. And we increment memory. And we have these pins where we need to connect uh, clock, word select and the data lines of the microphones. That's really important. Also, we need to increase the clock frequency. So we open clock configuration and here I will choose 160 and we're going to divide by two. So at the end, we will have 160 megahertz. If you're using another board, another microcontroller, this configuration might be slightly different. But in any case, you need to reach a frequency close to the maximum. So the microcontroller will work really fast. Then we can save the file by pressing Ctrl S. So it's gonna generate code for us. Also, if you're using the same board as mine, it is necessary to remove this microphone the board because it is connected to i squares so If you don't remove it, it's going to distort the data. And before proceeding further, I'd like to configure serial wire viewer so we can use printf function and we can plot some data. You can refer to my other videos where I show how to do this in detail, but here I'm going to show it um, uh, briefly. Uh, first of all, we need to insert these lines to use printf function. And I'm going to use printf. So we're gonna print hello world every one second. Next, we're gonna build the project and we're gonna open debug configurations. And here we need to open debugger. We enable serial wire viewer. And in my case, I have 160 megahertz. As I showed you before, in, in your case, it might be different frequency. Then we're gonna press debug. So we are in debug mode, then we need to open um, serial wire viewer data console. And we open the configuration of this tool and we just enable port zero. And finally, when we resume the code, we need to see hello world um, text on this console. So that means that we, in, we configured serial wire viewer properly. Finally, we can use I squares to sample the audio data. And first, I'm going to create this buffer. So here we're gonna store 100 samples. And also I'm going to create this variable, volatile variable, because we're gonna change this, the value of this variable within the callback function. And if you wanna know exactly why we need volatile, you can refer to my another video. Um, next step, uh, we're going to use this um, function receive the MEA um, to, to get uh, data through to get data from I squares using the direct memory access. And also, we're using the circular mode of the DMA. So, once we start receiving data, it's going to last forever.
so uh, the microcontroller will automatically fill uh, the audio data to this to this buffer and and we have 100 samples uh, and uh, uh, we we using this function to get the size of this variable and since it returns um, size in bytes we just divide by 2 uh, to to get exact to get the number of samples we need so we need 100 samples next we can use this callback function so this function is invoked automatically when uh, this buffer is filled with, with the data we have um, we have data then we gonna copy our first uh, element of this uh, buffer to to this variable next we can uh, debug and see how it works then I'm going to use um, timeline graph um, to to plot the the value of this variable so we gonna configure trace and we're gonna enable comparator zero and here we need to write the, the name of the variable so in our case sample i squares then we press ok then we gonna start and if we make some noise uh, we can see that the, the the value is fluctuating this means that everything is working properly so we finally configured i squares so we're receiving data everything is working well so the next step is to configure sdo protocol to store all this uh, data within the sd card